nothing I love more than reliving a game that I held dear to me as a child. And trust me, the Pokemon Gold and Silver versions both took up the majority of my 10 year old life. I felt it only appropriate to share one with you, so I went and chose Silver. No, not Soul Silver. we're taking it all the way back to the Game Boy Color. Well, in Pokemon Silver, you start off in a whole new area called Johto. Again, you want to be a Pokemon Master, but this newest version of Pocket Monsters brings a whole new slew of items to your plate. Including a whole bunch of new Pokemon. Well, first off, like any other Pokemon, you start in your house and your mother gives you something. Well, in this, she gives you Pokemon gear. This was probably one of the most useful things as far as organization goes in the game. Also, your inventory now has different tabs so you can find items much easier, whereas in yellow, blue, or red, you'd have to scroll down the same list to find your bike, potion, and HMs. Now you have tabs for permanent items, usable items, HMTMs, and Pokeballs. Thank you so much, Game Freak. There are three new Pokemon that you can choose from as your starters, thanks to the awesome Professor Elm. You have Cyndaquil the Fire Pokemon, Totodile the Water Pokemon, and Chikorita, the Grass type. I always went with the Grass type in red or blue, but in this I decided to go with Fire, because let's face it, Cyndaquil just looks badass. Your enemy is also no longer a Gary looking character, but a long red-headed man. Hey, I wonder if it's Derek. Aw, oh, come on! I'm sorry, I just had to. Your controls as far as a battle again let you fight, use your pack, Pokemon swap, or run. Now you still can't run from Pokemon battles against trainers, but you can very well run away from wild Pokemon most of the time. a lot simpler in silver because now you can simply press A when near a rock to use rock smash or near the water to surf. Before this you'd have to go all the way to your start menu and click on your Pokemon and order it to do that task. Call it laziness but I never enjoyed all the hassle to use strength or surf. New features in this version also pertain to the Pokemon gear I previously mentioned. You now have a phone that you can use to phone your mother back because you know your mother always misses you or to other trainers that you meet to let them call you to see if you want to battle again. Eventually too you'll get the add-on of the Pokemon Radio and on there you'll find different channels that are useful such as the Lucky Number Show where if your Pokemon ID ends in those certain numbers you can win a prize from the radio tower. Again, Johto brings about a whole bunch of new creatures. In my silver version, I still have yet to run into them in the wild, but in gold, I had the fortune of owning all three legendary dogs, which I personally find cooler than owning the legendary birds Ho-Ho and Lugia. Yet in silver, you're given the ability to catch Lugia, and he's a total bitch to catch. I swear, in other games, if you didn't have the Master Ball, you could still catch tough Pokemon, but Lugia just doesn't want to be caught. He's a total jerk. The gym leaders follow a similar pattern, that of the original Pokemons. Each leader has its own specific type of Pokemon it uses, and there's even a trainer at the end you fight, who is very similar to Lance if you remember him from the Elite Four. Whatever version you buy though, should depend on the bird you'd rather have, because really, they're very similar. So try this out if you already haven't as a kid, and continue your training in becoming a Pokemon Master. (laughs) 